What's up guys, it's Dalmatter here. Today we're going to be reacting to a video called Single Mother Delusion on the Rise. So this is a video from Just Pearly Things. We reacted to a couple videos of hers before. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. 30. 30 years old. Do you have any children? I have two. And I also have custody of my niece. Uh, okay, so three kids live with you? Yep. Okay, how old are your kids? Um, 13, 3... What I want to know right off the bat is how bad was her brother or sister that she's got custody of her niece as a single mother? Like, it seems like the whole family's fucked up. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense because a lot of these, you know, it's a cycle, unfortunately. And then my niece is nine. Thirteen, three, and nine. Thirteen, your, your children, do they have the same dad? No. Oh, God. Was you ever married? No. Nope. Jesus Why Christ. are you not with the three-year-old dad? Oh, so we have the same birthday, and you look uh, at us on the. I hope it's not my wife. Oh. I can't drive. I think no, girl. I, I apologize. I think it's mine. Okay. All right, so let's try it again. So why are you not with a three year old dad? Um, I'll be totally honest and transparent. So my youngest daughter is a one night stand baby. Jesus Christ! Just fucking wrap it, or take birth control, or something. Like, if you can't keep it in your pants, just fuck me. We co-parent well. We just didn't take it anywhere after or after the one night stand. Um, yeah, like y'all don't wear condoms in one night stands. Exactly. I mean, I can explain to you the story if you want. <laughs> I want to hear it. Okay, so I was in a relationship with a guy for seven years. That was my longest relationship. Um, we broke up, and I let loose. And yeah, I definitely should have use protection but it was my birthday it was his birthday we was drunk yeah we made a baby jesus fucking christ uh the rationalization is the worst part just that like yeah we did we just did this really stupid thing because it was our birthday it's like oh fuck me this is the, the rationalization and the fucking the like unwillingness to accept responsibility almost right I mean, I guess you are accepting, accepting some form of responsibility, but, like, the rationalization, it's, like, just ridiculous. Like, just fucking wrap it, use some birth control, do something. Yeah, that, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. What, what do we think of um, that broken women, <laughs> broken society? Oh, wait, also one thing, one, one quick thing. Go Guys, on. we're turning the chat on to members only, so become a member if you want to be a part of the chat. Anyways, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> um, these women like this, one night stand babies, because it was her birthday, are raising the next generation. And yeah, and and th that's a like right off the bat. That's what I was saying about earlier, right? Like, the the fact that she's raising her niece means her mother was probably a similar situation, right? Because either her her brother or her sister, whoever had the kid, right? They thought that a single mother was a better situation for that child than their parent, which means that like both the kids are fucked up, right? Her and her sibling, which means her mother was probably also a single mother. And, 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 and I'm sure women like that are not an isolated case. There are many women like that, specifically in America. Um, it's not even only an America problem. I mean, it's a problem throughout the entirety of the West. Um, and it de depends on the community. Like with the black community, she's, been a, she's a black woman. So I think it's something around like 80 to 85% of children are born out of wedlock and just like to single mothers. Um, fucking in the white community, it's nearing, I think, 50%. Um, but yeah, like in the, in the West as a whole, like it's, it's gotta be like 50 or slightly over 50, just because the black population is roughly 13% of the population. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a huge problem all throughout the, like the entirety of the West, right? It's like ne nearly half of all children nowadays, which is just ridiculous. Um, where there are children being raised by women who are so frivolous with their vaginas let's say right <laughs> that they give it to any and everyone and now they've got children to raise because of it what do we think of that what about the what about the willy though that was frivolous <laughs> <laughs> what about the what? Yeah. The frivolous willies too <laughs> yeah but but like i said women decide who they have children with we spoke about that already mm. yeah 100 percent. like women are like the gatekeepers of sex right unless it was a uh, Incidents of like some kind of forced situation, which I mean, she clearly said it wasn't right. It was, you know, she, you know it was both our birthdays, so we didn't do anything. Um, you know, women decide, right? Like men, most men will sleep with anything, right? Um, women get to pick and choose who they sleep with, and if you're gonna sleep with guys that are not willing to stick around for the kid, and I mean, in that situation, I, 
I honestly find a hard time blaming him. I mean, like, she's raising her fucking niece. She's raising her uh, her own child, right? Like, th- now you have to take all that, all that financial burden. 100%, that guy's a fucking idiot for not at least trying to wrap it. Um, like, you should always, unless you're in a long-term relationship with somebody, just because you don't want to catch fucking diseases. But, like, the baby, too, is just like, oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, like, women are the gatekeepers of sex, and they have so many more options for birth control that they can get... Uh, what are the IUDs? I IE, yeah, IUDs um, take hormone or birth control. They have so many options compared to men who really the only option if you're a man is just to wrap it. I mean, I guess you can get a vasectomy, um, and then now they're starting to come out with like male hormonal birth control. But the problem with those is that like, I mean, honestly, even the problem with female hormonal birth control is that like it tanks your fucking hormones and fucks up your system. It's probably it's not a really good idea for anyone to be on. Mm. It's the women that are deciding to have these children. Because mm, it's a big risk for them. It's a big risk. Well, whenever it's a big risk for you, you have to exercise more risk management. Because 100%. you're the one mm-hmm. who could end up in a much more negative, negative situation. situation. So it's just well, like, and, we have, and we have more <laughs> options when it comes to preventing that sort yeah. of stuff than men do. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I feel <laughs> like that... A girl is like, I'm pretty sure she's in her 20s and she acts like a fucking 12-year-old. The uh, story, I feel like the story of that was... Oh, we got an ad. Let me just skip this real quick. Oh, wait. Not representing a large number of women. Oh, let me go back a second. Probably not representing a large number of women. I mean, it is. That's the problem. If you look at, like, the... I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what the statistics are in the UK, because I think this channel is based out of the UK. But I know in the United States, it's something like 80 to 85% of black women. Uh, it's like 45 to 50% of white women. Um, I don't know what the rate within the Hispanic community is. I know the Asians, like, they don't—they really don't have this problem yet. They will soon. Um, but, like, it's, it, it's, it's quite literally, like, nearing half the population, if not over half the population, is essentially doing this, right? So, so the idea that it's not re- representative of a large percentage of women is, I mean, it's, if not the majority, it's nearing the majority of women are like this. Right, like that's that's the issue. And Remember the her video child before. is not representing a large number of children. Remember in the, world. the video before, right? Yeah, it is. It's that's like literally that's the, it's if you're in the black community, which that that woman is, that's the norm, right? You're a statistical outlier if you're born to a two-family household. Yeah. <laughs> and then you see this one. Yeah, that's how two many, videos. How many, two videos. But how, I'm saying, if you go on Kendra G show. <laughs> oh my god, no, it's every. I swear to god, this is. A, well, I, I, I watch the this show, show live watch. like every night. Na- I, I, I try to get on, Kendra. They never let me on. Yeah. And I feel like. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I would kill that show. <laughs> but, but, but no, um, no, they literally are always like that. Like, so like people that call into that show. Oh, okay, I see. So it's a, it's a place like, where. It's I don't. I don't it's not really the best argument because again like you're talking about a an area where like those people are congregating right it's like it's like going to a church and being surprised that like everyone's married with families right like an, an actual like old school christian church where you know they demand that shit of their people that are coming there uh or you'll be ostracized but i mean like the, the better the better argument would have been the statistics because statistically again like in the black community that is like by and far the norm right it's like it's something like 80 to 85 percent which means if you're if you're a black child born like there's only a one in five or like a one in six chance that you're going to be a black child born to a two-parent household um and then with white families it's roughly 50 50 right so i mean like they should that she should have gone the statistics route because like just saying oh yeah like everyone on the show it's like yeah no shit like they congregate at that show I don't think it's the majority of women, but I think no. there's a large minority. Yeah. That, like, a substantial minority of women that are delusional. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a large minor- there's a large amount of just general delusional people. I just feel like no. this is not... Yeah. That video and that video and that TV show that is specifically for those videos. No. That's just videos that you've seen, and I don't think it re- represents Statistic. loads of because people. So, so because, here's because the thing, because right? Because media. Um, because I don't, I don't see men calling into shows and demanding Victoria's Secret models. Like, I just don't see it. I see women demanding six-figure guys, tall guys, whatever, but I, I don't see girls or guys calling into shows and saying, I need a model. Yeah, you just can't. That's actually a great point. And, you, like, uh, I think it was Sneeko when he was on Fresh and Fit, uh, be, like, fucking damn near a month ago now. He actually made a similar point. Right? Like, if you look at, like, a lot of the men's, 
the, like if you look at like the the men's help channels, the the manosphere, the red pill shit. So much of it is about improving yourself, right? You obviously have like the black pill, doomer pill guys, where they're just like, yeah, just end your life now. You know, you're fucking five foot eleven. You're you know, your fucking eyes are, like, tilted one degree to the left. You're fucking... Like, they'll take, like, the, the smallest thing in the world and, like, fucking doomer pill themselves on it and then, like, pretend it's the end of the world. But the vast majority of, like, male channels um, are, like, you know, actually about self-improvement. Like, get your shit together. Groom yourself better. Fucking uh, hit the gym, right? Like, you know, work on, you know, your social skills. But then you look at, like, a lot of the top women's channels and it's all, like like, call her daddy type shit, right? Like, it's, like, all this, like, a fucking, what it's like sucking eight dicks in a row, and what it, like, just, <laughs> you know, your Glock Glock 9000, and, like, how to give the best head, and shit like that, right? It's, like, completely delusional shit that is not really going to help them in the long term, and, like, it's actually going to hurt most women, because they're just going to, they're going to end up, like, getting guys, like, far, like, they're going to end up hooking up with guys far above their fucking actual, like, dating ability right like what they're actually able to pull for like a long-term relationship and then it gets them like delusional kind of like almost visions of grandeur of like where they stand kind of like pearl was saying right like you have all these girls going on these shows that are like they're overweight they're broke that they're you know that that girl in that video looked like she was literally missing teeth um she's got three kids in tow and she's trying to figure out how to find a fucking husband that is, like, six foot tall, makes six figures, and has a six-pack, right? The three sixes. Um, you know, most dudes, like, you know, the guys that they have on those shows, um, they'll tell you if you even want, like, a fucking slightly above average girl that you have to get, like, a really good shape and fucking, you know, start making good money. And, and like, that's not even, to the, like, a supermodel. Like, a supermodel, I think most men understand that's, like, completely out of reach for them. Whereas every woman seems to think she's going to end up with, like, fucking Chris Hemsworth, right? Um, you know, if, if only I could get my chance. If he just met me, it's like, no. <laughs> like, especially if you, again, if you've got, like, three kids in tow, if you've got fucking, you know, you're, like, morbidly obese, you, you know, you're fucking missing teeth, like, yeah, it's just not going to help. Get lost on he'll, he'll, He just is like, yeah, she's okay. Not fat. Wait. That's enough. No I, kids. I've got a question. So someone's calling into that show for a man. Yes. It's, it's like yeah. a, a oh, matchmaking show. The second part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ish. You had something <laughs> you wanted to say. Okay, so. Turn on your camera. Come on. Oh. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Uh, oh. Yeah, give it a sec. I'll, I'll add it on. Okay. And then okay. Listen, okay. Listen. <laughs> I'll explain. All right. We'll watch the second part of it, and then I'll add my point. Okay, let's watch yeah. the second part. Cool. Um, from 10.15. 10.15. 10, yeah. yeah, from 10.15. I just... <laughs> I'm reacting to somebody reacting to something. Really like, hit the react fucking section. Let me get your guys' views on this. Where is it? Oh, 10. Okay, 10.15. Yeah. Let's have a look. Because you said, was she calling that show to, for a man? Uh, oh god. We saw a guy. Who's that in the background? Okay, whoever did the editing on this, like, Jesus, dude. Who's that in the background? Speak. You can talk. You've been talking to me the whole time. I have. I've, I've told you who I was. That's the guy you had sex with today? Wow. <laughs> so you, so the. Je oh, Jesus fucking Christ. This girl's on a dating show trying to find a fucking man. And she's got a man in the background that she had, that she fucking hooked up with today. What in the fuck? Oh my god. Hopefully she fucking wrapped it this time. This girl's got like a fucking room temperature IQ. The guy you had sex with today is in your house and you're on my show looking for a new guy? I'm on my, I'm on your show to tell you that I'm single and if you know, I find you're on my show to look for a new guy because that's what this show is about. Okay. So, so yeah, you know, I'm on the show just to put myself out there. Yes. Yeah? She is missing teeth. I fucking knew she was missing yeah, teeth. Yeah, you're on this. You're on the show to meet. A I thought she had the biggest gap tooth ever because, like, what? Watch when she opens her mouth. A new guy. That's what this show is about. Let's be clear. Okay. We're yeah, she, she's definitely missing a the tooth. The show. Right. You come on the show to meet whomever. If you're into women, you're into men. So, you want to meet a guy? while you have the guy you slept with in your house, 
What kind of quality man you think is gonna hit you up? <laughs> uh, I'm just being honest. I mean, I mean, I'm being honest too. What kind of quality man you think is gonna hit you up? I don't know. You tell me, Kendra. No. None. None of them. <laughs> Any dude that is not like an actual fucking crackhead and like needs a place to stay is going to run so far the other way. You might get like a couple dudes that are like, oh, this is an easy like fucking kill. Like I can fucking fuck her and then drop her like everyone else has. But like <laughs> nobody's going to like look at this chick for a serious relationship. And like sh she's so dumb. She honestly probably like it'll be hard for her to like ever find a relationship after this because like there's no way like this doesn't get out like and get back to her somehow. Right. Like somebody's going to find out about this and then it'll be spread around town. And then, yeah, like, oh, my God. One. Okay. A man that might will hit up that a man will hit you up that want to have sex with you. Yeah. But not a man that's gonna take you serious. Not absolutely not. There is no man that's watching this right now, a quality man that's gonna hit you up and take you serious with the guy you slept with this morning in the background while you on this show. And if that's what you desire, then that's what you desire. It's your life. But you're gonna have to own up to the fact that you got a lot of stuff to get together. Very trifling. If you want to, and if you want to, if you want to attract a trifling guy, then so be it. Give him your Instagram page or your <laughs> Facebook page. So I just, my God, everything about that. <laughs> that woman is an absolute fucking disaster. Holy shit! Like Jesus Christ. Also, whoever did the she editing for this, terrible job. I don't mind on you. Yeah. It literally, like, it would have taken you, like, 20 seconds to go into fucking, like, Da Vinci or fucking Adobe or whatever and just chop that, like, little bit out where you bring up OBS. That was no issue. Yeah. yeah. It's just a bit. Cool. Go on. Yeah, I think that's hilarious. I just hope she has that same kind of comedic energy if, you know, or let's say when she ends up, like, being really alone um, and a lot older with, like, you know, boxed wine and cats. You know, I just but, hope. But, but, but for me, I need to understand the psychology. That girl's 100% not cl classy enough for boxed wine. And that's saying something, because boxed wine is like your fucking... That's like your basic bitch shit. Like, that girl... Yeah, no, she's going to be, like, fucking smoking crack on her own when she's 70. Jesus Christ. I need to understand the psychology that makes you think that you can call a dating show <laughs> yeah, with the, with the person that you've just had sex with oh, in your man. house looking for another person. Because I, I'll say this, I don't think a man would do that. I don't think a man would call a dating show with the woman that walking around naked in the background that he's just had sex with saying, yeah, I'm single, I'm single, I, I wanna get another girl. I don't. I could see you guys doing that, but it would 100% just be to take the piss. Like you could see like some like troll guy doing that. But yeah, like a guy that's like seriously trying to find a relationship, they're not going to be that fucking stupid. I, like, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like, room temperature IQ, 100%. I don't think men would do that. I think they would do that for their lads. They'd go be like, yeah, I've got a girl, but I'm, you know, yeah, chatting. Yeah, but a dating show they wouldn't go on a date. Out. But, yeah. like, are men really going, like, well, on dating shows? Because the thing is, going on a dating show doesn't always mean you want to go on a date. A lot of the time, you just want attention. So do you think she's... I'm... Sh as dumb as that sounds, she's actually right. A lot of these girls just go on here for attention. And, and you see that, like, I mean, even on, like, dating apps and shit, like Tinder and shit. I knew girls that fucking, like, when we were in, like, high school and Tinder first came out, they would go on Tinder, fake their age, because they weren't old enough to actually be on Tinder, and they would just try to see how many guys would swipe on them, just so they could get the attention from it. And you see that on Instagram, too, right? Like, girls will always fucking post thirst traps, despite the fact they have no intention of hooking up with anyone, just because they want the attention. So I think that is actually, you know, as dumb as it sounds, probably true. She's actually looking for a man. I don't think she was. I kind of like, got the feeling she was just trying to go viral. And yeah, that she was she like, I'm just viral, here like... just to see what's out there. Do you know what? I would <laughs> actually... I don't think she's trying to go viral. I think she's dumb as a box of rocks. Um, and I, I think, honestly, it. I think that there's two reasons she was on there. One, the attention. That's a possibility. Two, she's like actually trying to fucking find a guy. And either way, she's dumb as hell.
right? Like, absolutely dumb. I don't think she was trying to go viral. I don't think she's intelligent enough to attempt to go viral. Because if she did, she'd have... She, like, she'd probably be, like, a TikToker or something, right? Like, if, if she understood, like, that kind of stuff was go, would go viral, then she'd probably just make a TikTok account for it and, like, just fake that kind of shit all the time. That's what everyone else does. And, I mean, she clearly doesn't have any, um, you know, moral obligations to that, right? Because a lot of the people that do understand that stuff but they don't want to do it uh, usually comes down to, like, some kind of moral obligation, right? Or, like, you know, they don't want to be seen in that kind of light, but she clearly doesn't care about that, right? So I don't think it was, you know, a uh, an attempt at virality. I would actually magnify that to a, on a bigger scale. I don't think a lot of girls actually want to date. I think they just want attention as well. Yeah. yeah. And mm. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Mm. I'm just saying it is what it is, you know. Like if you want, to, if you just want attention, that's fine. But if you're gonna masquerade that as like mm. you want to date and find a nice guy, then. Do you, you know. th do you think that's a bit selfish when you have kids to do that? I mean. Everything that woman does seems like she's just selfish, right? She's, um, although the one maybe good thing, I don't know the situation behind it, so it's hard to say, but the one maybe good thing she did was adopt her niece. It depends how fucked up her sibling was. But, yeah, like, the idea that, like, she was in a, she said a seven-year relationship, right? I'm sure, you know, any relationship ends, there's always some mutual aspect to it. You, or I should say usually some mutual aspect to it. Um... So, you know, she obviously didn't give a shit about the original baby daddy. Then she hooks up with another guy. Uh, and then she's got, like, this other dude in her house while she's got fucking three kids there. Right? Like, she's not setting a good example for them. She just seems like a kind of, like, selfish woman all around. Um, but, yeah, like, I, it's, I'm not even surprised that she's acting like this. This is, like, surprisingly pretty normal. Like, all the, like, single mothers I know, fucking, you know, girls I went to school with and shit, most of them act like this too, right? They've got, like, fucking a new guy in the house every day or every other day, right? Thinking that it's going to be the new baby daddy. Um, and, I mean, it never is, because why would it be, right? Like, fucking, they're... <laughs> like, no, no guy just wants to suddenly have to pay, like, fucking three times the bills, four times the bills, um, just for some fucking sex that they can get anyway, because that girl's usually got fucking loose morals to begin with. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think below, and uh, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.